And we'll get back to weather here where we're tracking some more showers on the way. Nothing all that significant, but definitely additional rain expected here across Kern County. Still tracking a little bit of that too as we take a look at the radar. We're going to see just light showers at this point. A couple of sprinkles uh, at at this point, I really don't think anyone's going to get heavy rain for the remainder of the evening, but we'll uh, switch over to future cast here shortly, and you're going to see we will see some steadier rain later tonight, overnight, especially after midnight. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll step out of the way of Eastern Kern. That's where we expect most of the activity. Again, mainly after midnight, we're going to see that heavier rain moving in. It's still some scattered showers possible this evening, especially here in the valley, but late tonight, steadier rain through our mountain areas and over into the desert. That'll clear out, though, by tomorrow morning. Morning through most of the day tomorrow. I really don't think we see a ton of activity, but as we get again tomorrow night into early Wednesday, additional waves of showers moving through Kern County. And by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon, then it looks like things will start to kind of clear out for us. So a couple more waves of showers expected. So we're definitely not done with this current storm system, but I don't think we're going to see anything too earth shattering, too strong. Anywhere from uh, just a tenth of an inch to as much as a half an inch of additional rain here in the valley. Varied totals because of those spotty showers. And again, some steadier rain totals of around a half inch or more uh, for our mountain and desert area. So still are adding on some rain, but uh, nothing all that heavy. At least that's what it looks like. And as I mentioned, tomorrow for the most part looking like a decent day. That rain will move in later in the day. Most of the day will be decent. 48 degrees to start your morning off tomorrow, so fairly mild to start the day for Tuesday. Temperatures comfortable. A little bit cooler over in the desert where we do have some of those showers early in the day, but here in the valley, I think we're about as warm as we were today, or at least close, getting into the mid-60s. Comfortable weather for this time of year, and not a lot of wind either. We've got some gustier winds over in, over in the desert, which is typical, but nothing all that earth shattering for tomorrow. It's just that little bit of rain that's going to be moving in overnight tonight and then again tomorrow night. So the rain chances are decent, but they're not going to look all that good because those are going to reflect the daytime hours. But as you'll see, as we look at the day planner tomorrow, most of your day, just partly cloudy skies as we get into the afternoon and then especially the evening. Rain chances do come back into the forecast Some scattered showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms here in the valley. 30% chance of rain on Wednesday, better chance very early in the day. But by the time we get to the daylight hours, those rain chances will dwindle Thursday and Friday. Decent, looking relatively clear, especially by the afternoons. And then we'll keep an eye on the weekend. Some shines, some signs, excuse me, of additional showers moving in. At this point, that storm doesn't look all that uh, promising, but we'll keep an eye on it in case we see anything change there. Mountain communities. Again, additional rain chances, some steadier rain starting back up later tonight. Temperatures too warm for snow for the passes, the very least Hatchby Fraser Park. You're not looking at significant snow from these systems. That'll be mainly above 6,000 feet, but we will see some heavy snow for the highest points of Kern County. And then again, we'll be clearing out nicely for both Thursday and Friday.